Hello Linux fans, Rob here, and we're about a day and a half away from the official release of KDE Plasma Desktop 5.18. I for one am excited. I've got KDE Neon testing version loaded up here, and I'm actually running the official 5.18. However, there could be some changes between now and a day and a half from now when things are officially released. So I want to go down a list of some additional things that I didn't cover in a previous video. I, I had Kubuntu set up. And running and this is a fresh install so we're going to go ahead and go through a few things here first up on the list will be emoji picker and or selector in this case it's a little slow uh, there are a lot of emojis it's slow to launch and you'll see it's slow to expand for whatever reason I guess there's a lot of emojis that you're dealing with and they have to load in the background uh, let's go over here to a few categories just so you can see kind of what's in play uh, so this is new and there's a ton of emojis there. Uh, is this going to change what you do with your operating system or how you do it? Probably not, but it's a nice new addition anyway uh, if this is something you use frequently. All right, next up on the list are discover improvements and we certainly can take a quick look at those. Um, so for example, you'll notice here that the images uh, are lined up better. Uh, the whole layout of Discover when it comes to information about the application, um, it's, uh, hey, there's a new update. And that'll remind me to back up and tell you how I came to 5.18. Essentially, you're going to install the test version of Neon, and then you'll have an update, and that'll take you from 5.17.9 and roll you right over to 5.18. Okay back to discover the other thing that's really well done on the layout here is when you get into reviews so these are laid out better where you see basically everything there's nothing cut off like it was previously and when you go into show all 26 reviews they've done a nice job here with this particular layout now I haven't found a way to sort so you're gonna find the newest review on the bottom as opposed to the top um, so I'll have to just mess around and see if there's a way to to sort this view alright so let's go ahead and see what our updates are here I'm just curious and there's quite a few actually this is yeah this is quite the update so I'm excited to update this and see what changes we have comic strip breeze dark case okay, discard KDE settings so lots here to update. All right, I got to move on from there. The K-Info Audio Center, we'll go ahead and pop over to that. It has been changed, updated, uh, cleaned up a little bit with more options here. So if you click on the hamburger menu, you can switch right over to raise maximum volume. So improvements there. <clears throat> Let me back up here to System Info. Go over to Info Center. And this is totally new, KDE Neon Testing Branch. You'll see here this is Plasma 5.18. As I said, you will do an update and you'll have 5.18. But uh, lots of information here. I like the way the memory is laid out. So you can see what you need to see there. Uh, device information, very clear to see everything you need to see there. So nicely done, nice improved. I think this is a total rewrite. So totally new system info, task switcher thumbnails. Okay, that one's a little hit or miss. So we're going to roll over here to... Firefox and so when I hover you're gonna get a pop-up but what this should be if I'm not mistaken from the way I read it is you'll see briefly maybe it'll show up in the video um, it should show an image of the video that's playing is the way I understand it's supposed to work uh, it is a thumbnail but it's just not a thumbnail of the video back there so and again things could change before the final release as we see here with an update alright so we'll bounce back over uh, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, no backgrounds on the widget. Now that was in the beta. Let's go ahead and right click and add a widget and we'll scroll down here to the clock. Did I miss you? No, there you go. We'll drag that over and voila, no background. We'll go ahead and close you out. So you left click and hold if you want to activate the widget settings and from there then you can stretch out the size you've got other configuration settings you can go in and add date things like that time zone 
Um, but before you had a background and if this background did not coincide with your theme settings uh, the way you liked or with the wallpaper that eh, kind of pulled away from the aesthetics so now having the ability to toggle off the background is really nice and another good example of that is with weather so we'll scroll on down there and pop weather over here let's configure that there we go and you see here you, you you've got this background on the weather widget and you know it's okay it'll work it's going to show you the weather but I think from an aesthetic standpoint you're much better off with no background there and that just kind of merges with the wallpaper in my opinion and gives for a better overall appearance so that's certainly welcome and then <clears throat> there's some other things in play as far as fixes things like that but there is a bug that I have found and uh, I know it's a known bug uh, for sure and that's under font so I could go in and change this to Ubuntu for example and let's go ahead and scroll out here and the apply is grayed out so any adjustments to fonts I am not getting apply now I'm going to do some research and find out if there's a workaround here as far as using the GUI is concerned um, there are other ways you can adjust fonts this is just you know, the quickest easiest built-in way and I noticed in reading about 519 that this was going to be fixed but surely they'll fix this uh, hopefully with this update I've got right over here but surely this will be fixed soon uh, because font adjustment is certainly something that uh, is hit and miss with neon uh, on my monitor I mean it's it's font rendering is good but there are some tweaks you can switch over to the Ubuntu font for example and make a few tweaks within the uh, DPI settings things like that oh that brings me to another point within settings well I should have stayed there duh I closed it out um, let's go to display so you've got global scaling right now so here we are at 1 100 125 150 so you've got this slider uh, adjustment and you know, previously I think you had like 100 or no I'm wrong you could actually scale it set a custom scale uh, but you didn't have a slider like this to kind of bump things up that alone We've got comp compositor information gamma information and this is all evolved activate night color so you can adjust and I believe this is new where you get a warm color and so if you're someone who likes to experiment with new things and things like that and you've never really put any credence behind the plasma desktop I'd say now is an awesome time to give it a try just really loving Linux um, you know it's just one of those things that um, is ever evolving so many distros to try so I'm speaking now to someone who's just maybe exploring Linux for the first time a um, lot to learn the community is friendlier than ever in my opinion there's more resources now than ever to learn Linux. It's easier than ever. So go ahead and dip your toe in and give it a go, especially if you're someone who was maybe using Windows 7 and you realize, hey, it is the end of Windows 7 and you don't want to switch to Windows 10. Uh, give Linux Mint a try. Fantastic distro. That'd be an easy switch. And then maybe as you learn your way around, come on over to the KDE Plasma side. All right, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.